Well, Leo, thanks so much for joining us for this face-to-face -face special, uh, Olympic special indeed. Um, first of all, congratulations on your bronze medal in Paris. Um, I kind of, I feel like I've started with asking every athlete this, but, but what's it been like since you, since you collected that medal? Has life been a bit of a blur since then? Um, yeah, so after having a lot of emotions like this, I think the body shut down uh, <laughs> quite a bit uh, in the weeks uh, lead, uh, following the, the Olympics. But then we had a lot of uh, media, a lot of uh, uh, j just good times with, uh, with friends that we didn't uh, used to see before the Olympics. And uh, yeah, family time, you know, a lot of quality time uh, in the end. And then we had to, to come back to training because Super League, Super Trial was, uh, was coming. Yeah, how, how much is it um, harder in, in that period afterwards? Because it must be really nice to have all that attention and people like recognizing what you've done and your achievement, but also I imagine it's quite overwhelming because it's quite a, generally a bit of a lower key sport. People are a bit more isolated as individuals. Um, yeah, I didn't feel uh, isolated uh, during my whole preparation because uh, I have some wo uh, yeah, wonderful friends and, and support uh, in the daily routine and I feel that uh, I didn't win this medal uh, on my own, I, I won it with uh, the help of uh, uh, my whole team and um, yeah, so just sharing this, uh, this medal with uh, all these people was uh, something quite special and um, I wouldn't uh, do it on my own, you know. Yeah, yeah, well, indeed, you need a team behind you, even, even in individual sport. Um, so just, let's just wind back a little bit to, and talk a little bit about the race. Obviously, you guys had the delay you had to deal with and the, and the kind of then the, the heat. What, what in those days before, like how, how hard was that to to deal with, like what was going through your mind? How, how, how were you feeling? Um, to be fair, I was quite uh, um, worried about uh, having a duathlon because uh, that was my worst, uh, not fear, but I was feeling that uh, we wouldn't have been uh, doing our sport, you know. Even if I think I, I would have uh, uh, done like, quite the same result in the end because I know how to run and bike, but uh, I would, uh, yeah, I, I wanted definitely to have a proper triathlon. And, uh, and so I was worried about, the, about this. And uh, even more after the race uh, was, was delayed. But then um, I tried to, to stay positive, to stay calm, and to think that uh, uh, half of my uh, competitors were already thinking, uh, you know, negative things mm. and like, yeah, the race uh, was supposed to have uh, to to be today. Uh, so you you have to stay positive and uh, to think about the race and uh, uh, who's gonna win this race tomorrow in two days in one week is gonna be Olympic champion anyway. So yeah, I was trying to focus on the on the main goal and thinking if I'm ready for today, I'll, I'm also ready for 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 tomorrow. So. And, and how was the pressure as well, like a, a home Olympics in France? Obviously, I know a lot of focus was on Yi and Wild in the men's. Cassandra obviously had to deal with a huge amount of yeah. attention and focus. How was it for you? Um, I was putting a lot of pressure on, on myself. Um, yeah, to... Uh, I mean, we the, the French triathlon uh, never had a, um, uh, an Olympic uh, individual medal before. So that was even more like people was was waiting this medal since uh, since a while now. So um, and then for uh, our little sports in France, we have uh, quite a bit of uh, um, like a, a, a good amount of uh, support by by the people because it's going on uh, it's going live on TV for the French Grand Prix for the WTCS even Super Try uh, for years now. And uh, with uh, Vince, who brought uh, all this uh, media attention to, to to the French triathlon, we had quite a bit of uh, of people like yeah, just waiting this medal. So we were all feeling this uh, this weight uh, uh, on our shoulders. And um, yeah, I think I I knew this this day was going to be to be special, and that I I had no other choice than. Uh, then succeed. 
Well, that's really interesting. So when you when you got to that start line, then what was were, were you feeling confident, or were you were you feeling confident for you, or were you feeling confident that one of the French men would 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 medal? Because you have got a very strong team there yeah, as well. Yeah. So um, yeah, we were all fe uh, feeling that pressure mm. uh, before the start uh, when we were warming up. Uh, every time we were um, coming in front of the the spectators. There was uh, like crazy noise, and <laughs> so uh, we had uh, goosebumps every time uh, we were going outside of the transition area. To give you goosebumps so, thinking about it now. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. And uh, then when we when we we had the the lineup and we we had to go on the pontoon, uh, the speaker called our our name, and uh, the crowd just went crazy. <laughs> and then we we went uh, one after each other's. The French we were all three. Uh, in a row and uh, we talked a, a little bit about this after the race and we were like if one of uh, of us was was saying something like uh, I'm going but I'm scared or yeah. something like this we would uh, kill uh, each other <laughs> because we were all like shitting our pants <laughs> basically and uh, yeah that's that's uh, when you have to to deal with that pressure because it's uh, it can be good pressure it can push yourself uh, in um, like in even uh, um, uh, yeah stronger and yeah you can push yourself further in the in the the effort but it can also drown you uh, very very deep and um, yeah that was uh, quite special. So what, what in the in that moment what did you what did you have to do to deal with that pressure? What was going what was going through your mind? Was it just trying to stay calm? Was it thinking about the process of the race yeah. or was it something else entirely? Yeah, I, <clears throat> so I'm working with a, with a um, mental coach that uh, helped me quite a bit to, to stay focused on the, uh, on the moment, you know, just not think about uh, if I'm going to, to, to swim well, uh, it's gonna, this is going to happen if I'm, yeah, just uh, if, if I'm not having the result I want, uh, this is going to happen. No, I'm I'm staying on the on the moment, <clears throat> breathing well, and just uh, stay confident because le leading into this race, I I felt like I was really my shape was really uh, getting better and better, and I was yeah I was really feeling good uh, in the last sessions uh, leading into the the race. So I was just uh, trying to stay confident because. First, I did all the work that I wanted to. I wasn't uh, running after one last, uh, one more session that I wanted to do or something like this. I was really confident. I had all the work uh, done. My shape was good. Uh, I was in a positive uh, mindset. So, uh, what hap what will happen uh, will happen. But uh, in the end, uh, um, sometimes the the result of a race. Is less important than the the whole process leading into this uh, this race, and I was already proud of uh, of uh, all the yeah all the 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 process le leading into this race, uh, all the the support I had. I was also grateful for being there in at the start line, uh, healthy in uh, yeah in a good mindset. I was I was just uh, in a positive mindset, and I was happy to be there, ready to enjoy every moment of the race and uh, I, I had something in mind is uh, was like um, anything you, you try in, in the race in the tactic or um, I, I will assume that you know I, I wanted to finish this race with uh, absolutely no regrets mm. and if I was being uh, um, if I if I was if I was going to to be a tenth in the end, but uh, that I tried every, everything I, I could, I was I was uh, you know in peace with that. Mm. But uh, yeah, too too many times I in the past I I've been finishing this uh, the the races with um, yeah something uh, regretting something some move and that I didn't do I didn't try enough and I think I felt okay. In the Olympics, uh, if you don't try uh, anything, you won't get a medal. You you have to 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 go for it. So, 
Well, tremendous to have had that maturity and self-awareness to, to, to understand that and then even better to go out and actually do it as well. Um, how, how did the race play out then? We don't need to talk about every moment of the race, but like, what, can you identify a few or one or two key moments where perhaps there's a move that you make that, that is really important or there's a part of the race that was really critical or where you kind of consciously knew that you were making that decision in the moment that actually now's the time I need to do this if, I, if I'm going to not have regrets? So I did um, one mistake uh, that was in the swim. Uh, I was uh, in maybe six or seven po position uh, during the, the first lap. And uh, in the second lap, I, I did a huge mistake with the, with the, the, the current when uh, I, I tried to, to corner at the, at the boy. And um, I went like very, <laughs> very far from the second boy because of the current. I, I didn't go, go back um, uh, enough. And I lost uh, maybe 12 position, even maybe 15, I don't know. And um, so I exit the water with, uh, with Alex. I said, okay, uh, this is another race. It wasn't planned, but uh, anyway, we will uh, deal with it. Um, then we, had, uh, we, we couldn't uh, work uh, against each other, the French. So I knew the Pierre and Dorian was, were in front. So I just uh, waited uh, um, to, to catch them. Uh, yeah, doing doing nothing than uh, being like at the front of the the, the group, Dri and, driving uh, the group <clears throat> to make the. So I was I I, I couldn't uh, drive the group uh, to to catch them. Yeah. I just uh, stayed in the okay. wheel because that was the yeah the um, the team orders, and uh, I respect it. Um, and then uh, we tried to to make uh, yeah, Hayden uh, Christian work uh, very hard uh, when uh, when we got to the front. And um, so when we when it all uh, uh, came together, um, usually I would uh, I would have uh, thought um, that's that's bad for me because I I need a, um, an aggressive race I need a, a little pack coming into t transition too because I'm not one of the best runners so and this year I think I'm I've made uh, quite a bit of. Uh, improvement on, on my run. I worked uh, uh, quite hard as well. So um, I was uh, quite confident on uh, my abilities to, to, yeah, to, to fight for a podium, even uh, coming into transition two with a big pack. So I stayed uh, confident and uh, I thought, okay, now you're not the same as uh, last year. You can run for, for this medal, um, even with the big group, even with uh, the strong runners. So that made the difference uh, in in the mindset uh, because if we, if I started to think uh, uh, negative things, uh, I wouldn't have uh, yeah go for it when uh, when it was important. So um, yeah, then on the run I did my uh, own race um, because I knew Alex and Hayden were going to to start full gas and we are going to fight. Uh, against uh, each other and I didn't uh, feel that I was able to, to follow them uh, on the first uh, few Ks and uh, I think I, I, I did my uh, best pacing I could and um, yeah just one, with one lap to go there was Vasco coming very strongly behind, behind and a few other guys so I decided to go from uh, yeah from one lap to go and uh, um, then I started to catch uh, Alex. Uh, I was only maybe six seconds behind him. So I started to, to think not ab only about the, the bronze, but uh, my, like my big motivation was, uh, one was on Alex. And uh, then we caught Hayden. So that was a crazy moment because I started to think, uh, to, to see Hayden on the front. Uh, I didn't know if he was uh, enjoying his uh, moment with, uh, with the, the crown or like already celebrating the, the, the victory. And then I, I, uh, I realized that he was very, uh, very much in, in trouble and uh, like really suffering. So um, yeah, that was a mixed emotion, but I was that focus that um, 
I didn't think about, uh, yeah, that's, that's great. I have a bronze medal. It's already uh, quite cool. No, I, I was thinking about the victory and uh, they were so close uh, in front that I, I tried my best to, to, to catch them until the end. And uh, yeah, unfortunately or, or not, uh, yeah, it wasn't enough. But um, I think they, they just uh, killed uh, each other's uh, trying to fight uh, um, for, for the victory. And uh, I nearly could, uh, yeah, played my card uh, uh, with, with, uh, with them, but uh, that wasn't uh, enough. But you came away from it, most importantly, like you said, uh, identifying that you did everything you can and, yeah. and you, can't, you can't regret anything. So as soon as you can come across that line, it's always uh, interesting because there's so many varied answers. What, what were you feeling when you, when you came, apart from exhausted, obviously, <laughs> but what, what were you feeling when you came across? What was that emotion like when it's all, it's all done? You know what's happened now. You've got your bronze medal. So um, in the last uh, in the last corner, Hayden was uh, uh, still five seconds at least uh, in front of me. That was only uh, 80 meters or something. So I knew that was uh, that was done. And uh, there was all my there were all my family and friends uh, in this corner. And um, so I just uh, let all the the emotions uh, out of me. And I'm not an emotive guy, so uh, like an emotional guy. I usually keep everything for myself and uh, just in this uh, unique moment I, I, I let exploded everything out of me, uh, like looking at them and uh, just like, oh, we did that. <laughs> and, you know, incredible, we, we did that and, and this is for you and uh, I, will, I will remember this moment uh, for forever uh, because when you success, when you have a huge success like this in in life, in sport or in life in general, it's uh, it's great. But to be able to share this uh, this moment is even more special, and it's even more important to me uh, to 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 have been able to share it uh, than to to have it for myself, but uh, not being able to share it. So, yeah, that's what I would uh, remember. Well, that's, that's amazing. And I, I kind of also wanted to touch a little bit on your journey in the last couple of years, which hasn't been the smoothest. I, I think a lot of people watching this will know your partner, Angie Olmo, or herself, obviously a fantastic triathlete, has suffered terribly with, with Lyme's disease. And it's been, you know, that's been very, very difficult, I imagine. Well, obviously, it's been very difficult for her, but I'm sure it's been a very difficult situation for you. How, how has that been? And like how how hard was it to prepare when you've, you've got somebody you love so close to you who's going through a really tough time like that? Yeah, so Angie is a super talented uh, triathlete at the, uh, at the beginning and uh, she, she was uh, having a great career. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, she had to, to stop everything for, to, to, to get treated for Lyme disease. And uh, she's quite an energetic person. <laughs> And she, she, yeah, she's uh, she's moving all day and uh, speaking speaking a lot as well. <laughs> uh, but um, like like all this uh, this life uh, shut down for for the the treatments, and she's having uh, yeah a tough time uh, uh, getting treated um, with uh, free antibiotics uh, a day since uh, more than a year now. So. Uh, yeah, already when I'm uh, taking antibiotics for five days, I'm, uh, I'm complaining. So yeah. <laughs> can you imagine, uh, yeah, for more, more than a year. And um, uh, she, she could have uh, been uh, like out of the sport and uh, not wanting to, to, to be involved in anything about, uh, about sports because she, she wasn't able to do it uh, anymore. But it was all the... Uh, the, the opposite because she she's uh, my most important support in uh, in my project and in my life and she's helping so much uh, yeah in uh, the day-to-day -day, uh, training and and uh, organizing everything and uh, coming to yeah to do the hard training uh, for to, to, to support us uh, not only me but my my whole squad and um, and yeah she's uh, my number one motivation because I'm not uh, racing only for myself now. I'm racing for for two. So 
it could have been uh, uh, you know a weight uh, yeah. that was holding me back yeah. but in the end it's like more I have uh, <laughs> twice uh, twice more energy and um, yeah I know that now that uh, when I when I'm out of uh, home for for training or when I'm going uh, out of home for a race um, yeah, I know I have to succeed. You know, I have. I know I have. A, I have to do, to do a good work, and uh, uh, because uh, someone is not able to do it uh, anymore. So, yeah. Hopefully, she will. Uh, she will be better soon. But uh, it's not. Uh, yeah, it's not an easy thing to to see that uh, from the inside. But. Uh, what a, what a like that. credit to her as well, because I imagine, like you said, it could be very difficult if, if, if somebody gets really dragged down mentally, emotionally by it, especially when you're doing the same sport. Yeah, to, yeah. Be, to be like the one that's going out the door all the time to keep living the life that you both lived yeah, yeah. while you're leaving the other one to, to sit inside. Or, I can imagine how hard that would be if you didn't have somebody who's obviously as positive yeah, as yeah. Angie is. Yeah, she... I mean... Uh, I think women so already are um, are stronger than uh, than us uh, for for that kind of uh, of uh, battle, but uh, she's impressing him because uh, I would uh, definitely not have the strength to to keep going uh, every day and uh, to 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 keep uh, supporting uh, uh, someone that is uh, doing the same uh, thing that you 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 dream to do. Uh, uh, you dream to do all your childhood and uh, and um, yeah, but she's so passionate about about the about training about the sport uh, that she's uh, um, she's she's uh, giving me like the most important uh, advice uh, advices uh, yeah every day she's uh, yeah she's uh, she's incredible. I can only imagine how special it was then when you had that medal and you were able to share that moment and the time subsequently with her to reflect on your success together. Yeah. Uh, that must have been very special. Yeah, yeah that was uh, very emotional. And then, uh, yeah, Italian are quite uh, emotional as yeah. well. And uh, yeah, I love that. Uh, it's, uh, it's great to, uh, yeah, to, to, to share these uh, this moments. And also with my friends, with my family that uh, yeah, I, I don't see them uh, very often because uh, I'm so focused on it's, it's taking so much uh, um, so much of my time, uh, but uh, it's worth it uh, ten thousand uh, times huh? to to live this this kind of uh, of moments. Yeah, well, fantastic, Leo. Thank you so much for talking to us and, and joining us today, and really incredible and inspirational story. And we wish you and of course Angie. All the very best. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.